Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you some special cases of stop and wait ARQ protocol. In my previous video, I have explained you error free case for stop and wait protocol. You see, we have derived some interesting parameters, right, like efficiency, throughput, as well as I have explained you how stop and wait error free case that is happening over here, right. But now, my job is to explain you some special cases like you see what will happen as if frame is getting lost what will happen as if acknowledgement that is getting lost what will happen as if delayed acknowledgement will be received what will happen in case of piggybacking so all four cases that i'm going to explain you step by step so let us have first case in which we'll be considering what will happen in case of frame is getting lost right so as I have explained you previously how stop and wait is working. Initially, there will be variables at transmitter and receiver, right? So, let us say transmitter and receiver both are having variable which is 0 initially. Now, as both are 0, what it means? Transmitter will send frame number 0 to receiver and receiver is waiting for frame number 0. It means variable is 0 at the transmitter and variable is 0 at receiver r is equals to 0 right so now what will happen transmitter will send frame 0 let us say this frame is reaching over here now as soon as this frame is reaching over here at receiver what will happen this variable will change now it will become r is equals to 1 now based on this receiver will send acknowledgement to transmitter and in that it will be giving variable 1 what it means now receiver will have to send frame number 1. So now this t, now that will get modified to 1. Now transmitter will be having idea about okay frame 0 that have been received over here. And now transmitter will have to send frame number 1. Now see what is happening is when transmitter is sending frame 1, right. Let us say it is getting lost somewhere in the medium. It is getting lost somewhere at the medium. Then what will happen? So, in stop and wait ARQ protocol, there is a facility of timer. So, there will be timer which is running internally and see as this frame is getting lost over here, there is no chance of acknowledgement to be received over here, right. So, this timer that will time out over here and as this timer is getting time out, now transmitter that will be performing ARQ means automatic request and it will be sending this frame again right and now this frame that will be given to receiver frame number one so as if frame is getting lost here automatic repeat request that has been performed it indicates now again that frame will be forwarded as per timer run out right and uh, based on that no frame will get lost all the frame can be forwarded to receiver side right so let us see the basics like see due to medium any data on the medium may get corrupted or lost let assume here frame is getting lost due to medium to handle this situation timer is set at time transmitter side if timer runs out then transmitter will send that last frame again that is referred as automatic repeat request time period of timer is larger than the total delay of one frame transmission right so you can see here as timer is running out again automatic repeat request that is being done over here right now let us have second interesting case that is acknowledgement lost right so see in acknowledgement lost what is happening for that again variable with transmitter that is zero initially and with receiver zero initially what it means now transmitter will be sending frame number zero let us forward it over here so frame zero that is been forwarded to receiver side. So, as this frame is received successfully at receiver side, this variable will change to r is equals to 1 and it will be sending acknowledgement over here and that acknowledgement will be a is equals to 1. What it means? Receiver is asking for frame number 1 to transmitter. But you see, let us assume here this acknowledgement is getting lost somewhere in the medium. So, what will happen? So, as we have seen, transmitter is having timer inside, right? And with respect to time, 
this timer will increase. So, as if timeout is happening, as if timeout is happening, then transmitter will forward this frame again. Automatic repeat request that will be done. So, t is equals to 0. Now, that will be forwarded again over here. Right. Means frame 0 that will be forwarded again. As transmitter is not transmitter is not receiving acknowledgement from receiver. But you see what is happening. This frame is already there with receiver. Right. This frame is already there with receiver. So, receiver will discard this frame. Receiver will discard this frame. And as it is discarding this frame, it will be again giving acknowledgement. And that acknowledgement tells transmitter you should send frame number 1 again. Right. And again, transmitter will forward frame number 1. Right. So, this is how things are happening. So, it is possible sometimes frame may get lost in between medium, right? Or acknowledgement may get lost in between medium, right? So, here this timer that is handling the situation. If timer is running out, then again frame will be forwarded over here, right? Now, let us see third case. In third case, you see delayed acknowledgement is coming. Let us try to understand that by practical situation. Like you see, initially, transmitter will be having variable 0, receiver will be having variable r is equals to 0. So, now transmitter will be sending frame 0 over here and receiver will be re receiving this frame as if it is received successfully, this variable will become 1 and it will be asking for frame number 1 now. So, let us forward acknowledgement over here, but you see, Due to some reason, acknowledgement that is reaching over here by a bit more delay. See, this is time axis, right? So, with respect to time, this acknowledgement that should be received over here on time. But because of some reason, acknowledge, acknowledgement from receiver that is not received over here on time. So, in this situation, what will happen? So, again, you can understand that by this, you see there will be timer and as if timer runs out, as if timeout is happening, what will happen? Transmitter that will be doing automatic repeat request, it will be forwarding T0 frame again, right? So, here again it will be forwarding this frame, let me draw it by other color. Again it will be forwarding this frame number 0, but you see what is happening? This frame 0 that is already there with receiver side. So, receiver will discard this frame. Receiver will discard this frame. Right. But you see, after some time, acknowledgement is received over here. It says frame 0 is already received by receiver. So, now this variable over here that will change. Right. That will change. T is equals to 1. And it will forward frame number 1 as per the request where a is equals to 1, right? So, now it will be forwarding frame number 1. It will be forwarding frame number 1. But you see, as frame 0, that has been forwarded again at receiver side. Receiver is not having idea about whether acknowledgement is received over here or not, right? So, what receiver will do over here? Receiver will again forward request of first frame over here. Receiver will forward request of first frame over here, right? But you see, acknowledgement one that is already received by transmitter one. So, transmitter, transmitter will also discard this. Transmitter will also discard this, right? Why the reason is that frame number one that is already forwarded before this, right? So, two times discard process is happening. One time that is happening at receiver side regarding frame. And second time that is happening for acknowledgement over here in case of delayed acknowledgement comes, right? So, as if delayed acknowledgement comes at the time, this is possible like transmitter may need to discard acknowledgement as well, right? So, this is how things are happening. Now, next case that is quite interesting that is piggybacking. So, let us try to understand first what is piggybacking. Piggybacking means here along with the frame, acknowledgement is getting carried like along with the parent 
child is getting carried like your father might have took you on his shoulder right so it means your father is piggybacking you right so here in piggybacking what we do is along with the frame we forward acknowledgement now this is what the case which we have it in half duplex communication see in half duplex communication both can act as a transmitter and both will be having receiver section right so that will be trans receiver so i need to say this is tx rx 1 and this is tx rx 2 right or i can say host 1 and host 2 right in which we need to have piggybacking along with stop and wait arq protocol let me explain you how it is there so initially host 1 and host 2 both are having variable 0 what it means both are waiting for frame number 0 now let us say host 1 is initiating that communication so host 1 will be forwarding host 1 will be forwarding what frame 0 for host 2 along with that host 1 that will be asking for frame number 0 means acknowledgement 0 once this frame is received over here at host 2 side host 2 variable that will become 1 and it will be sending frame which is acknowledgement of h1 so frame 0 and it will be asking for next frame that is frame number 1 so that will be acknowledgement number 1 over here now once this frame is received over here at host 1 side that variable will become 1 now it will be forwarding frame requested by host 2 so it will be forwarding which frame it will, it will be forwarding frame number 1 along with that it will be asking for which frame it will be asking for frame number 1 already frame number 0 that is received so frame number 1 now it will be asked by host 1 now once this frame is received at host 2 this variable will change to 2 what it means now host 2 wants frame number 2 so what it does is it will be forwarding requested frame that is frame number 1 and it will be asking for frame number 2 once this is reaches reaching at host 1 variable of host 1 that will change to 2 it will be forwarding requested frame that is frame number 2 right and it will be asking for next frame that is frame number 2 and host 2 will re, host 2 will receive this it will change the variable to 3 see this is how things are happening right so my dear students here in piggybacking we are having half duplex communication right where both can transmit and receive the data so when it happens like this in that case along with the frame we need to send acknowledgement so acknowledgement says what acknowledgement says that we have received the previous frame and what frame should be transmitted by you in next frame see this information will be there in acknowledgement right so acknowledgement will be given by both of the host see this is how piggybacking is there so i think now all the cases of stop and wait arq that is clear to you still if anything that you like to share it with me note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video